So I recorded this video about two weeks back. I wanted to break it down into more of an instructional format, but in summary, this is more of a demonstration video on what it looks like to actually perform the HVAC load calculation. I'm running this one from my remote connection at home videos to serve as an example to show you the time required to do the load calculation for the, the cooling and heating. Doing some HVAC load calculations here this morning. Standard first step to do the mechanical engineering for a building system. So what I'm doing here, I started my area takeoff file from the architect's backgrounds. And what you do, you calculate all the room areas and you want to plan the zoning of it. So basically a zone is a thermal control area. So you take the perimeter square footage and then take the exterior perimeter lengths, which are in green, and then the square footage, which are in, which is in red. This is the living room. And then you number the zones so that you can track it in your load calculations. Um, so just a very repetitive process. All right, so what I've been doing, I'm looking at the elevation profile of this large house, and I wanna make sure I'm accounting for all the windows on each uh, face of the building. So what we're doing, these are the rooms, the perimeter exterior lengths of the rooms, these are the zone room numbers that are going into the load calcs. You go in, you find all glass surface. Each one of these windows are 19 square feet. So I'm gonna take all that. That's just the south elevation of the house. Now I've got to do it for the north elevation. So what I do, I take my area takeoff plans and I just grab the perimeter. You just got to think about, you're looking at it in two dimensions. So I'm grabbing all the zones from the north elevation. Zone five gets the 10 foot. Zone six gets the 10 foot. 13 feet goes to zone nine. 39 goes to zone 10. 23 goes to zone 14. There's a bridge here, so there's no exterior elevation. 15, 21, you'll see here in a second. You got all those. CAD CO, it's a copy of the base point. Now, since we're looking at this north elevation, we're gonna have to flip it and track it along the front of the house and pick up all the windows in each space. So what you saw there, I was rotating the exterior perimeter lengths to the north elevation. So now you can see we've got the zones tracked along the perimeter for the north, which should correspond to this view, looking from left to right here, right to left. So here's the big atrium of the dining room. You can see it here in the middle. Oh, it's elevation. So now I know all the windows in each space along the main level. I gotta do that for the upper level. While engineering, you drink a lot of coffee. Okay, so now we've got the upper level zones tracked out along the elevation. What you gotta do, you gotta check every elevation. So what we're trying to do, the task, we're trying to find all the windows along each room so that we can plug that in to our load calculation. So I've already zoned, these are all the spaces. As you can see, the numbers correspond to the zones here. For instance, three is our garage. You know, the zones. I've already tracked, I've already put the walls together. We have a north wall, east wall, south wall, west wall. I already put in the areas. So now what we're going to do, we're going to plug in the glass areas on all the zones. It's a tedious process. 38 rooms to calculate to get the walls together. So, yep, this is about a four hour calculation. All right, so now we're tracking down the windows in each space. We're looking at the pantry here. We know up is north as we've oriented the plans. We've got a window here, 
so we can track it on my elevations that I just put together. Zone 6, we've got a 13 square foot window on pantry. So we'll go to our walls, we'll go to our north, 13. We've got the window created. And we'll go back in and add the R values, but right now you just you go, you get the geometry of the building put in. You get your roof areas, wall areas, floor areas, window areas. You adjust your envelope properties. Basically, I adjust it to the code minimum of the municipality uh, for energy code, that is. And then we'll go in and adjust the internal loads. That's people, lights, equipment, and scheduling of the, the, the timing when the lights and the people are in there. Typically residential design, two people per bedroom, five to six people in the living room and dining rooms. Other than that, all the rooms are unoccupied. So we're working our way across the front. I'm doing the entry to the great room. These are some big windows here. 562 square feet of glass along that north wall. And I'm looking at zone 11, which is our next number up in the load calc, which is our entry. And you can see the double door swings. So we're gonna look at our south elevation. And sure enough, 11, we've got 46 square feet of glass for the doors, I'm assuming. I don't know if it's glass. I'm gonna put it in as wood. Nobody does a, uh, and I can check further later on. But. So we're gonna do, oops, we're on zone 12 now. Zone 12, what the fuck? Zone 12 is interior, so there's no exterior windows. Don't need to worry about it. So we're gonna look for 13 is the office, so we've got Three walls, three windows, as you can see these gaps in the plan. Let's look at our south elevation to see what size window this is on the office on 12. Yeah, the thing about engineering, you gotta think about it in 3D. So we got a 52 square foot piece of glass on the north wall of the office. Or uh, south wall. 52, and then we're gonna schedule our window, sample window. And I'm gonna keep that a universal setting so we can adjust that at the end. So you do you just go room by room, number by number. That's why it's important to number all the rooms. So we just did room 16, we had 63 square feet of glass to the south. 17 is a little, the entryway. We've got a door that's 21 feet. So let's just go to our load calc. East entry is 17 walls, you're gonna have the east door, 21. Scrub the sample door. Now we go to room 18. 18 is interior, no exteriors. 18, so we're good there. 19 looks like we have a couple windows here. I try to throw a um, dimension line on my area takeoff so I know that they're there. So let's look at our east elevation. So we got east wall and a north wall on zone 19. This is the east bedroom. Those numbers are fake since this is from a reference file. East, let's see. Let's go to our elevation. So 19, we got a 12 square foot window to the east. I'm assuming it's the same. If it's the same width, two. So this is gonna be slightly smaller. I'm gonna assume since that's 12, these are six times two. Six feet window. I know. Those are four foot windows. Um, so that's eight square feet if it's two feet wide. So let's go to our north wall. Eight. Room 20. Interior. Good. We don't have to worry. 21. 